And welcome to another live streaming playthrough of one of my Star Trek Online Foundry missions. About an hour left before the uh, patching and the highlighting of Star Trek Online. So we're going to get that going here. We're going to do UFOP Raisin a Do It. Starts here at uh, Ryza. Probably one of that. I think this one has been run the most. Although it was, uh, it wasn't as well accepted. It was a lot of people didn't like it. So uh, it was across the board. And again, they're all my social missions. They're they're done in groups and for fun and relaxation. It's not uh, not anything real Star Trekky. All right. So the villagers are acting strange. Helps save Megan, Megan and her classic. Ryzen Island Village while you learn more about the new bartender working at the remote lounge in the summer resort promenade. Uh, let's, do it. let's take a look at some of the views. It was great. Lots of fun. Nice. Sucked. The noise. Oh, somebody was had, there was a lot of, they had a lot of bad reviews about some sort of noise. I have no idea. Got stuck, bored, glitchy, lots of work. Next. Uh, some liked it though. Some did not like it. All right. Well, it's not for everybody. Let's put it that way. Captain, we are receiving a subspace transmission on an open channel from the planet Ryza. It appears a tribal chief from one of the planet's islands has a matter of importance and an urgent request. Should I acknowledge him? Accept the message? Yes. Greetings, I'm the tribal chief of one of the large tropical islands on the planet Ryza. I will transmit the beam in coordinates once you are in orbit around Ryza, so we may discuss a matter of importance to the Federation. So we travel through sector space to Ryza. Would you like to know more about this? And yes, you can brief me on the matters. Strange things have been happening on Megan's Island. Villagers gone missing, looting, Brain sites and animals. We need your help to figure out what is going on here. Learn about Megan, the bartender who serves the pirates on many nights during the festival and was eventually recruited by the pirates for Megan's classic island village. All right. Uh, so going to explain how the short stories work. This goes into optional dialogues. It's all the same kind of stuff that I've had in all my other missions. Uh, so we understand it because of the level of consistency. You know, as I see him every time. Go back and look at uh, my do it duty. What if you want to see some more? All right, uh, we did a tactical. Let's see what that one it says. The Admiral, we are on our way to the Ryza system in the Sirius sector block. Off duty crew will be rotated to the resort for shore leave and a little Davo dancing, drinking, and Davo for the win. I like the number 26 myself. I 20. 12, 21, and 32 are my numbers. And I have won lots and lots of uh, platinum. Why the number 26? 26 is my birthday, Captain. I learned from a friend of mine. Huh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean. There is a perfect Davo that you can win 400,000 gold press platinum in just one spin. That's right, 200,000 for one of the spots and 100,000 for each of the other two. So that's 400,000. Connie's like the Davo queen. I would challenge anybody that has more um, gold press latinum than I do. Here, I'll even show you. Here we go. No joke. Here we go. Where's my gold press latinum? I have 34 million a deal. I have a problem. <laughs> Connie, Connie, do it. Yeah, me. Yes, why? Why, yes, Captain, that is her. Small galaxy, isn't it? It certainly is. How can I find out more about Connie? There I am. And you can learn more about me and the rest of my pirate crew at the Interactive Biographies. Play the Foundry Mission UFOP Do It Duty and find out about the Do It Clan. We already did that. All right. I'll take a look at any updates. Let's go over and talk to the author. Here's uh, my architect again. See what was new. Police 8 fixed a whole bunch of problems. <laughs> 
there have been bugs. This one did not. Oh, uh, here we do. We do have the dates on these. So this was done in 2014. Fixed some necklace bugs. And added drink on. When they uh, changed the uh, the wiggle juice, the tonics. Like, so I created this thing way back in 2014. Must have been when I started. And I ported it over from one of my holes. So this a lot of my maps that were in the Nemi's Nine Holes drinking game and mission uh, got spawned up into individual maps. So the, this uh, this Rise of Map that was part of that mission became its own separate uh, little thing all on, on its own. All right, so that's it. Thank you very much. I will be there soon. All right, we're going to beam down to Megan's Island now. We're here at Ryza. Make that nice and quick. This is the Ryza Orbit Control to USS Blackstone. We have picked up your we picked your ship up in orbit and have transmitted the coordinates to Chief Osru and his island to your transporter officer. Please prepare your landing party and beam to the coordinates provided. All right, so we'll beam down. A crew. And we wait for the load. Da -da 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 -da. This is only one map. Uh, so it's only one loaded. Uh, never didn't qual which means it didn't qualify for any kind of rewards. Didn't get a lot of play that way. Uh, it, this map had several mini games. The Marco Polo mini game is here with the sand uh, spiders. There's a, finding the rest of the sand spiders around the edge of the uh, map or, or the island. The end. But the big thing I added here near the end was a uh, a race. All I, I tried doing some races in some other missions uh, in the foundry. It just didn't really come out the way I hoped. Um, but when they added the, the floaters and the ability for us to use floaters inside the foundry, I decided to update this and add a rate, uh, floater race. So we're going to come over here. We're going to talk to, uh, Dr. Bytor. Oh, we should do the mission too, I guess. Okay. So the, the mission here is to talk to Dr. Bytor, get wet and talk to Megan. Uh, those village Cretans, what happened here? I don't want to. The villagers scared by a bunch of Federation officers running around the island. Please leave your away team here and under the umbrella. They're over there. Uh, fine, I'll leave them here at your hut. When I last, when I left last night to go home, the shelves in my shop behind me were full of vials and bottles and potions and liqueurs. Just look at them, those shelves now. They're all empty. It took all my special potions and tonics for the ceremonial dance tonight. Calm down, we're here to help. Before you can help, you must be cleansed in the pure waters of Vitor Bay. Alright, so we have to run through the water. Keep talking to her. I think this is where... Alright. We, uh... We return from Xanadu. Xanadu, yes, the planet, the planet Xanadu. Is anything taking over the village? Sand spiders? The village was empty. Um, boy, there's a trick here. <laughs> we found your sister. Uh, there must be another. I don't even remember what they. There was. This is a puzzle to get to. Uh, the voodoo princess. Yes, there was. Anything special go. Oh, can you make our floaters work. There we go. That's that. Special going on. Okay, we got the, the Marco Polo water challenge. The uh, catch, uh, catch boo boo. What about the races? Tell me about the floater mm -hmm. race. With floater, the, with the floaters working, you can race laps. Clockwise around the two northmost hills of the island. Race around the oval track. Fantastic. Let's do it. Okay. Waves, arms, of the sky. Have fun. All right. I'm done with that for now. Uh, thank you. That's all for now. So I should be able to use my floater, which I can. All right. You see the rings? 
So you started there, and you came over here, and you raced through the rings. Go. Oh. Through the rings. Oh, come on. And you had to go on the other side, go around these rings. So you could do a couple laps of this. See who who could uh, do the floater fit better. Those uh, where's the where's the other one? Oh, dang it! No, I haven't played this one in a while. <laughs> All right, so there was that. Then there was the uh, Marco Polo game down here. Marco. Hello. Marco. Marco. Hello. Marco. Ah. I don't know why this third guy is always so slow. Alright, there's Ryza. Yep, then she tells you about the uh, the other mission. Yes, it was fun. No, I know about the other mission. Where you go find the crabs. We'll do a couple of them here. First one. We gotta come over this. Oh, we, no, we gotta go over this side. Okay, the first one's like right over here, so. I know it says four, but it's the first one for me. <laughs> Alright, yes, Marco Polo, thanks. Alright, so we have cleansed ourselves in the waters of Baitor Bay. And you could never get to these places, uh, like over here. We'll come up over there for All these places, you, you know, you could never go up onto this on the old map at all. Uh, but with the floaters, you can come over here and do this. That's a good map. I wish they would do more with this. Yeah, I've added this stuff over here. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to talk to Megan. Megan's over here. I put huts and stuff up here. And... Let me go over. No, we don't. I'm going to go up this way. We were out right for a time. Over here to the hut. And here's Megan. And this is the NPC that you find over uh, on the New Ryza map. Back in the promenade area over where the, um, the, the power board races start. That back bar, he's down there. So we adopted her. We like that back bar much better than uh, than the docks, especially when it gets crazy out there. So, okay, let's talk to Megan. Hi, I'm Megan, and welcome to my island home. Hi, Megan. It's a lovely place. The doctor informed me that you are going to be helping me recover her lost potions and trinkets. That was very kind. To help you, I have spoken to the Sky Gods and asked for your blessings, which they have granted with a Skyway to the Doctor's Hut. The Doctor's Skyway is unlocked. Alright, start ceremonial dance. I can talk to her some more. Then I can get her backstory. Here's a story about how she started out. All sorts of different... Uh, up about the plants all for now and you can see over here now new walkway so now you can walk back over to it I made a design and built this thing a pain in the butt to do but uh gave me floating pedestals up here 
But with the floater, it sort of became a mute point. You go, I just, just sort of fly back to her spot. But it's just no big deal anymore. But at the time... Alright, so we have to go to the start the ceremonial dance. Oh, let's go catch Boo Boo. Put him in his cage. See that cage over there, back here by the hut that was empty. Go throw Boo Boo in it. Over here. There's a there's a uh, ant spider in this one. There's a spider in here. Oh, there's Rachel. Oh, there, there's Marco. And there's Rachel. Hey, Rachel. There's Boo Boo. Catch his bear. Come here, bear. Where'd you go? There he is. That's so. Oh no, you can't catch me. Tag, I just did. Beat him to the cage. Ha ha ha! Got you, you little bear. So he'll be in the, uh, the cage now. Yep. And then there were people... I think I had some characters over here in these huts as well. It's been a long time since I played this one. This one, there were some people here. I had to do something to trigger that. I go back to right back over here to make it. We got some time. Uh, anything special going on? Marco Polo, what song are you having? 99 bottles of tonic. Start saying 99 bottles of tonic, gargoyle, and all. 99 bottles of tonic, I know that song. Take one down, pass it around. 97 bottles of tonic on the wall. If that one bottle, sh oh man, typo, should happen to fall. What a waste of alcohol. Okay, I get the idea. I like drinking games. I like to drink. Uh, okay, so Marco Polo, we did that. Something about, there's her story. Okay, here's about Cameo. What do you know about Cameo? She rose to the ranks very quickly in the Tassiar. Okay, and then here's uh, about Ima. Ima do it. One of my friends made it, another do it. He was born as a slave, had no other life until Ryan. Yes, they were pirates. He's in a pirate. Living on an island, I was well aware of pirates, but I had never met any before. These weren't the kind of pirates the elders talked about around the campfires. I liked Ima. After talking to Ima about becoming a pirate and a short meeting with the leader of the pirates, I was given a small position as the crew. What was your crew responsibility? Assigned as a point person on Riza when I am not bartending, I am directing black market nerve tonics and other sort of holiday toys to guests that visit the resort island. I also keep an eye on the floaters, power boards, and associated uh, island trinkets while the crew is off world battling in the war. So Megan became a bridge officer on many of my characters and she she held onto the floater and the power board and the the 
the Horgon, all that kind of stuff. So it kept, you know, gave me more regular inventory space. But most of that became, you sort of needed to have it in your inventory to be able to use it. So I had to move it back and not quite as effective as you used to be. Oh, we're going to come over here. We didn't, we didn't figure the uh, cameo. We'll check one more time. The great map. We have to go over that way too. See if they showed up over here. Something would trigger them on. Maybe they'll just let, maybe they show up later on the mission. But to go, we'll do some more of the mission. Uh, no, nobody's here. Oh, I can't even go in there. All right, we'll uh, fly over here. That's my cat in the background. Hi, Grady. Yeah. No, I'm not talking to you. He thinks I'm talking to him. No, I'm talking to everybody else. All right, so we come over here to the ceremonial pit. Start the ceremonial dance. Time to wiggle. Put on some music. Take a bottle down. Pass it around. 99 bottles of tonic on the wall. All right, oh, something's happening here. Oh, you start wiggling, something is going to happen. All right, pass it around. Captain, energy levels along the southern shore of the island are increasing. Everything okay? Stand by. See if we can get some more going here. Take one down. Pass it around. 97 bottles of tonic on the wall. Pass it around. Why do I keep stopping? Take one down. Pass it around. It, you can see things are getting, uh, getting a little bit crazy up there. Energy levels in your area have just jumped 100%. What's happening down there? I said stand by. Pass it around. 92 bottles of beer in the wall, or tonic on the wall. We're not going to go through all 100, don't worry. See, they broke it. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to keep wiggling. Oh, no, I don't even do that. Come on, what are you doing? Captain, Astrometrics is reporting an unusual phased gateway of some sort localized in your area. We suggest extreme caution. And so not now. Um, Captain, I'm not an ensign. You will be if I hear from you again. I talked to Dr. Bellator. You did it. You completed you completed the dance of two moons and the portal is now open. Huh? I did what? What did I do? It, oh my gosh, look, there's a ship. Take the portal to the phased realm. Energy levels are off the scale, Captain, but not lethal. There's something blocking scans beyond this point. You get a passive scan. Instead of passive scan. Oh, well, looks like we're going to... Alright, time for a copy break here. 20 after 2, smoke them if you got them. It has really been a long time since I played this one, but I did just do this one more time last time because I had completely forgotten. I have no idea where we're going. I wrote the I wrote this uh, mission and I have no idea what's coming up next. Uh, shiver me timbers, Captain! Astrometric alarm number three. Huh? What? Sorry, Captain. A little pirate humor. Very little. Please continue. The blue face energy is like nothing we've seen before. The anomaly has almost consumed the planet and we and who knows if it affects uh, if it's affecting the system or even sector space itself. We must shut this down. 
I see it has filled the sky. Yeah, that's not good. All right, we gotta leave the barge. How do we leave the barge? Okay, go off. Oh, we have to leave the barge. Okay, go rescue Megan. Oh, so we're on an we're we're in an alternate uh, Riza. Gotcha. I remember that. Captain, this would be an excellent location to establish a base camp to secure the portal. I suggest you continue with the rescue and let us handle setting up camp. We're supposed to leave the away team. And there's camp getting started. Very good, Captain. The officers wait here. Yeah, why not? Hang out by the fire. I'll take care of Megan. And we're heading, uh, heading up this way. Okay. Here. It was last time. Oh, oh, what we got here? Oh, there are zombies. Zombies on rising. Oh, it's so easy to kill these guys when you can stand up, up here. Oh, Megan's got somebody there with her. Oh, there's Cameo. Thanks for helping out, you two. Sitting around just drinking coffee. Alright, so, uh, what are we doing here? You saved us from the zombies. You are amazing, yes. Alright, so let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Cameo this time. Can you help me get Irma out of here? Who is Irma? She is here on Ryza with me visiting Megan. We got separated and thought she might be, have come here to see Megan. The zombies ca captured us and have been holding us captive here. Okay, where is she now? She could be anywhere if she's looking for me. I am going to wait for her at the bungalow. Wait. Bye. Don't go yet. Damn. But anyway. Don't worry, Cameo. Someone will come to save us. Alright, so I gotta go talk to Dr. Bator. I could go up the uh, up the path here. But I think I'll just fly over. Oh, more zombies. Guys down here. Let them do all the work. Go back, guys. Killer di dinos with uh, lasers. It's hard to imagine. All right, talk to the doctor. You saved me from the zombies. You are fantastic. Well, you are welcome. Confront the voodoo. Okay, so I can talk to her. See what she's got to say. Was oh, there something for you need? Uh, sure. Yeah. What was there? <laughs> okay, tell me your story again. What's your story? I am the village medicine woman. I run my shop from atop this hill and care for the ailments of the people of the island. I make these remedies with the help of one of the local girls, Megan, who is quite good at collecting and mixing many of the tonics we use. Anyways, last week one of the local fishermen discovered an ancient artifact buried in a small cave under the western island outlook. What is this artifact? The artifact found is a small emerald organ that has magical powers to cure any illness. It is the only thing that will remove the curse of the elders put on a wicked woman thousands of years ago. She was banished to the dark underworld where she suffers in eternity. The doorway between this our realm and hers can only be opened once in a blue moon. Night is a celebration of the two blue moons. If she was able to complete the ritual tonight to open the portal to a new era of evil will reign on this island, and those poor islanders will become her minions. As an evil army builds, so does her powers. The island tomorrow, the planet next week, the entire sector next month, we must stop them. How do we stop her? Very good question. Uh, 
Well, that wasn't much help. All right, go confront the voodoo princess. Uh, wait, she's over this way. Oh, she's over here. Oh, see, then there was more. More ropey. Uh, we'll take the last bit. Of Come over and confront this princess. Made these stairs. That's why I decided to walk him. Ah! Give my dino. Give my dino. Could zap him. I'll just cut him up. Yeah. All right, talk to the, to the princess. Go away, I am busy. I serve only the Dark Master. And where do I find him? My master is a very in a very secure cave. No mortal like you self can possibly stand before him. All will fall before the Dark Troll. Uh-huh. Okay, then you play the mission in the Pirate Theater, which uh, was turned into a night... Night at the Opera. Alright, so... And that was the end of this one. So I think we're done here. Ain't just in time, too. Go away, I'm busy. Oh, oh yeah. Where do I find him? Oh, that's all she's going. Have a little base jumping. Oh, wait. Where'd you guys come from? Something over here too. We built this other. Remember more about this mission. For a long time ago. So this is the altar. Came up here. This will be the altar for something. You know, it's blood stains on what appears to be some sort of altar. Okay. The dog. This dialogue will be minimized to an options button that will be found on the right side of the screen by default, okay? But what? I must be part of something, part of a puzzle. Head here. Let's check out the, uh, check out the cave here. Right over here. Oh, there's a Marco Polo. Which one are you? Nine. No, it wasn't in the cave. So I wonder if Irma came back. We should go look for Irma. That'll be it for this mission. We are done. But I got this one recorded. I maybe played it first so I knew exactly what to do, when to do it, and where to do it at. Do it! Do it good. Get over here. Hey! hey, hey there they are. Woohoo! I talked to Cameo. Oh, yeah, I said talk to Cameo. He stares at me. Uh, stares with those reflective eyes. Stare back. Hey, right, I'll look over. Tell me your story again. Born to an Andorian companion on a small deuterium mining outpost near the inner sphere, I was raised in a tiny studio apartment by my mo by my mother, who was always working. I grew up fast on the hard streets of the colony, and when I was six, a Klingon science officer watching in amazement as my skin repaired itself almost magically while bigger children holding me down in an alley cut me repeatedly for fun. Poor child. 
After a brief conversation with my mother and some financial compensation, I was taken to a research facility deep in the Klingon Empire for further research into my amazing abilities. A complete battery of tests were run, but all attempts by the KDF to weaponize or even identify the second DNA I carried had failed. How long did they try to identify it? After four years with no results, the research project fell out of favor with the Klingon High Council and I was traded to a Federation research facility, which spent another six years also failing to identify my father's species. Realizing after funding cuts to the, in the UFP ended the project, I had no desire to return to the mining colony where I was born. I don't blame you. Where did you go? Instead, I broke into the cleanup facilities and stole my personnel files, just as I had done from the Federation facility before leaving there. All that remained was a small file Section 31 still had on me. Show me that Section 31 file. All right, just shows you highly unstable. Romulan, probably. Tushar, probably. Kia, probably. Orion, probably. Reiki, probably. I don't know a whole lot about her. All right, what happened after that? A cameo appearance. After a few trips on freighters, the collapse of the Romulan Empire sent out a call for captains and I got a small ship commission. I rose through the ranks to general. Thank you. And uh, Cameo was, was another player within the game. One of our friends, one of our pirates, and a fellow DJ. All right, time to get you home. And Irma, or Ima. Ima do it, hi. Hi, Ima, I've seen you in a long time. Tell me about yourself, Ima. A slave start. Working for many years on Rigel 4, loading cargo, I heard exciting stories of an Orion slave who had escaped and built a pirate fleet. Yar, A pirate's life for me. One day, a Ferengi far arms dealer purchased me for a less menial task, but I overpowered him once aboard the shuttle and used it, his database to find a ship to... For the famous pirate Connie Do It, I said, "Course, turned to the turned on the autopilot, and sent the shuttle forward towards a nearby star system. When it arrived, I put on an EVA suit and beat myself into the cargo box, into a cargo box on an outbound freighter, about to warp out of the system. Where was the cargo going? The cargo box arrived. Her shot Mar." At the villa of Amanda Do It, I've got that. Uh, I've got that playthrough here as well. Uh, only moments before KDF security forces, I was unconscious and had only a handwritten note that said, "Please help." And his sister Connie found the note, intercepted the security team, lied, and sent the security team on its way for reasons unknown. What happened next? Connie had then had fake papers drawn up claiming me as a long-lost cousin. Connie's dad, Manny, do it, then stepped in as my protector, mentor, trainer, and friend. Not trusted being by nature, I struggled with this new life and lean, lean on Manny and Cameo, who she related to as her big sister, even though she is younger and much smaller in size. Thank you. Good story. I have to get you out of here. All right, and that'll wrap up this mission. Fly up here a little bit and uh, get a good blip of the map from from up high. The cool, uh, cool planet there. That's the whole, whole island. All right, that wraps it up for Ryzen and Do It last of my playthroughs from the foundry which is going down in 20 minutes b-o-o-h-o-o -O -O. thanks for tuning in leave any comments you want down in the uh, comment sections below take care have a great day